I'm gonna tell you one weird trick to reduce calories. Now, if somebody's trying to eat better or you're trying to lose weight, reducing calories is obviously, you know, the most important thing that we should be focusing on. But a lot of people are confused at what's the best way. Some people count calories, some people measure their food, some people have a strict guide rule book of foods they can't eat or can eat. And, you know, some of those things work for some people. But I don't like dealing with overly complicated methods because when life gets stressful, those are usually the first things to go. What I do like are weird little hacks, if you could call them, that you know seem kind of simple and maybe even kind of silly, but they actually work if you do them consistently. And one trick that I learned actually through a nutrition course that I took is when you're eating, eat with your non-dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, use your left hand to eat. And this is especially frustrating if you're eating something like a salad or a steak or something that really requires some kind of coordination and dexterity. And, you know, first of all, you realize like, damn, my don dominant hand is kind of clumsy. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe you're one of those rare people that actually are pretty good with both hands. But most people are not. Most people have a pretty dominant hand. And the reason this works is because it forces you to slow down. So we're very used to eating mindlessly. You know, we're using our, if we're right-handed, we're just kind of like shoveling food into our mouth. Uh, it's cool I do that too, but we're just kind of like, we're in front, in front of a bowl of chips, we're just like, boop, it's just a reflex. We're not even thinking about it. We're just, you know, focused on what we're watching or who we're talking to. But if you have to use your non-dominant hand, all of a sudden it becomes more of a conscious effort and you have to really think more about it. So you have to naturally slow down. And study after study has shown if you slow your eating down, you will eat fewer calories naturally without thinking about it, without thinking like, hmm, how many of these chips did I eat? Or how much is a proper portion of carbs? Just slowing down makes you eat less because there's all these hormonal effects going on in your body with appetite and satiety, which I won't talk about right now, but just know that, you know, if you're trying to eat less, and most of us are, Try using your non-dominant hand. You don't have to use it every single time you eat because that can be pretty frustrating. Trust me, it's kind of annoying. But if you do it, say, one meal a day, you'll realize, like, okay, I, all of a sudden I'm eating less. I feel fuller. I don't have to rush through it. And you actually feel more uh, in tune with what you're eating, which is a good thing. You know, again, we eat very mindlessly most of the time. So this forces you to put a little bit more mindfulness into what you're eating. So try it, eating with your non-dominant hand. Let me know how it goes. See you in the next video.